What's going on guys? I am going to try and start a new series called How To. So in this series, uh, I'm just going to try to once a week come up with a, uh, a how to do something in Call of War. Uh, if you guys have suggestions, just let me know uh, on in Discord. Just come to my channel and uh, let me know in the uh, tab, the Sir Wayne's video ideas. And let me know if you guys have any ideas on something I could teach you what to do or how to do it or whatever. Uh, but in this one, I'm going to explain uh, how to win a clash of nations. Uh, and I plan on doing a world at war, uh, some of the bigger maps, and just give you some ideas. So uh, this one's uh, a little old. Or this is the only one I'm playing right now. So uh, it's day six, so not too far into it. Um, as you can see, United Kingdom has France, and France is just pretty divided up between Italy and France. So, uh, anyway, so uh, my first tip would be uh, would also obviously be country selection. Okay, uh, countries not to pick. Uh, nothing over here, uh, because. You're so land. You're you're so far away from the actual field. Even if you take all of this, you're not interesting. Like even if you're, like if you want to troll somebody, yeah, pick this over here. But uh, if you're actually trying to win the game, or be allies with people, uh, don't be over here because uh, me personally, I mean, if I'm over here and I'm Germany, like. Uh, Southern USA actually asked me in this game if if I wanted to be allies, and I was like, mm, no. Because you're too far away. See, not really. You're too far away uh, to be of use. Maybe if you had enough points to win. <laughs> uh, uh, I just giving it to you straight, man. You're too far over to help me. I can't help you. You're just way over there. You're 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 useless. Um. So I'd rather have a teammate, whether they're good or bad, to be useful, right? So, uh, France is another. Uh, do not pick. Now you can pick any of these countries if you want to. I'm just saying, if you want to make the most out of winning in Call of War uh, in the class of nations, I'm giving you tips on how to get there. You know, this is just my tips to get you there. Don't pick France. Reason why you don't pick France is because you got Spain to your south here, you got United Kingdom to your north, you have Germany to your east, and to your southeast you have Italy. That is one, two, three, four fronts. Okay, and then if Algeria or somebody wants to land hop on you, which is not likely, but if it did happen, you would have that as well. But uh, you have four different fronts. Uh, you have massive ocean openings here to your east, which is not a big deal. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't anticipate any of that. Just the main four borders: Spain, United Kingdom, Germany, and Italy. So uh, I also can do. Uh, a tutorial on being in France if you want to as well or any any country in general in these class of nations if you guys want to see it I, I would, I'm fine with doing any tutorials as any uh, maybe you do a series on you pick the country right and you guys vote for me to be a country or something like that uh, it'd be absolutely fine with me um, uh, let's see here Germany I wouldn't pick Germany either um, Reason being, same reason France. You have France next to you. You have Italy to your south. There is some small NPC, you know, with Switzerland and uh, Australia. Austria, Austria. There we go. And uh, you have Czechoslovakia here. You have also these two NPCs up here in Denmark up here. So you have in Sweden here, as well as Poland over here. So you have just the tons of NPCs, which is okay at first. But they, they start declaring war on you after a while. Uh, you know, and, and with Germany, you have to take Netherlands and Belgium as fast as possibly because because uh, Great Britain tries to take them as well, as well as France, and it just becomes a who can take it the fastest, but at the same time, you have to take Czechoslovakia before uh, somebody else takes it. Uh, who usually takes it? I think it's Romania or Yugoslavia, something like one of those take uh, this here and then they you know because you want to take this because it hosts a strategic defensive advantage uh, for you because uh, if they don't take if they you know they take Berlin you know they they take Czechoslovakia they can take Berlin pretty easily so another country you don't want to be um, um, 
I don't see a point in really any of the others are, are pretty well fine. Uh, Spain's got good defensive borders to France. Um, let's see here. Sweden's fine. Great Britain's uh, greater Finland. I mean, it's fine. Russia is fine. Communist Russia. Communist Russia is really, you know, another one you probably wouldn't want to pick because you are stuck between Russia, uh, Ukraine, uh, an NPC, another NPC in Greater Finland, but the, these two small NPCs are normally gobbled up very, very fast, and then you're stuck besides Greater Finland, Russia, Ukraine, Poland, and possibly uh, the Caucasus. So you can say don't pick that, but um, at least you don't have to build a navy, so... I guess, I guess that's something, but I mean, it is communist Russia. Who doesn't want to be communist, right? Who doesn't want to be hoisting that, that red communist flag and singing that song, <laughs> that national anthem? I sure do. So, uh, um, anyway, so, uh, that's going to be it as far as country selection. Italy's fine as well. Uh, just protect your coastal, uh, cities, uh, <clears throat> Make sure nobody jumps in and takes them. Uh, Yugoslavia is a really good country to pick. Uh, Great Greater Romania is okay, but Yugoslavia is really good country to pick. Uh, uh, I think they're Axis. Are they Axis? Or I know they changed them. Okay, they're uh, communists. So if you're a communist, I, if I'm allied, I like to be United Kingdom. You got waterfronts all the way around you. Uh, they got to get in the water to get to you. It's a really good country to pick. So for allies, it'd be that. Yugoslavia for communist Russia. For Axis, be probably Ukraine. Would it be Ukraine? Ukraine would be a good one. Um, I would, anything in Africa is also very good as well. I think it's Libya that's Axis. Yeah, Libya is Axis. Uh, I don't like Egypt because it's split. You know, their country is split between water. So it makes it mandatory for you to control that canal no matter what. Um, Spain is a good Axis. Spain is a good Axis one. Uh, that would be my pick, I think, for Axis would be Spain. And then... Communists be you girls, and then allies would be that, and there's no Pan Asia. So, my opinion United Kingdom, Spain, or Yugoslavia. So, uh, I know Spain's got some some territory here across the water, but in all honesty, they're not important. So, um, if they take it, they take it, no big deal. Um, but you know. You guys choose whichever you want, but I definitely wouldn't pick Germany. As well as Germany has, like, uh, Germany gets a lot of hate. People just want to attack Germany, just especially new players, just because they want to play the role out as their allies, and they must defeat the fatherland, right? So me, I'd pick Germany uh, because I wanted to pick Axis. And uh, when you get up to, when you get up to be uh, just... And you feel like you've you're re really become really decent at the game, and you beat win clashes of nations like nobody's business, and you usually win them solo. Uh, I would say at this point, you know, um, I would say at that point you um, don't don't really have to worry about what country to be. So uh, um, I can also give you guys tips on getting solos. So I should probably do a video on how to get solo wins. That's a good idea. How to get solo wins. Um, remember, um, uh, in these, uh, another tip is don't join a coalition right off the bat because, um, if you want to win, you don't want to pick the wrong allies. So just wait, as you can see, I'm not in any, uh, coalition, um, so, um, that, uh, definitely helps out. Um, also you can see is, um, I'm attacking another coalition as well. Cause I just don't, I don't, I would say don't do that. There we go. Here we go. Uh, just attack communist Russia and Finland's right there and it's his buddy, but he's at war with Sweden. 
which is an NPC, but um, um, looking at their rank and stuff, and I didn't even look in the newspaper. That's how much I I don't care. But um, <laughs> you can uh, look in the paper and see how good somebody is. Um, as far as how many losses they are, you can just anticipate. You know, uh, if they're taking a whole lot of losses, uh, whether it be from you or from somebody else, or whatever, the, or from somebody else, you're, you're trying to get a root off uh, uh, them attacking, or before you attack them, right? So, uh, no, those are all my kills. Mm -hmm. So, you know, reading the paper is very, very useful. I suggest you read that. Um, uh, if somebody's in, a, in an alliance, a coalition, and you're not, you don't feel comfortable with, like, dealing with them, like, if you, you know, get in there, and you, uh, check their, their rating or whatever, and it's like, Buku's crazy, right, Buku's really good, um, you know, then you may not want to attack them, if you don't feel comfortable to get 2v1, or 3v1, or more than that, uh, <laughs> definitely, well, it wouldn't be more than that on here, but, um, you know, just, you know, uh, just be, be, uh, be very weary when declaring war on a person who is in a coalition. Uh, now, if, like, if it was communist Russia and the United States, pff, I wouldn't care, honestly. I wouldn't care to begin with, but, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, if you, if you, uh, if you were playing, you, you probably wouldn't care because it's not like he's going to be able to send troops over here. It'll take him two days to get over here, and by then, you'd be mopping up the floor. So, and which I've actually had somebody message me that I was in South America in a 100, and somebody Japan messaged me that he was going to come smoke me down if I didn't lay off one of his buddies he, who we just met 30 minutes before the game started. And uh, I said, you know, if you want to waste your time coming over here, your friend will be dead here, dead by the time you get here. So if you want to, you know, waste troops and resources to send over here just for them to get killed, you go right ahead, I suppose. But your funeral. But he wound up being like uh, a teammate later on or something like that because I guess he come to his senses. But anyway, uh, moving on. Another tip: um, uh, diplomacy. This is a very very big one. This is a very big one uh, is in, to maximize your ability to win. You know, just talking to people, uh, making sure that you guys are on the same page, which nothing there, nothing there. Yeah, this guy sent me sure, Matt, nothing else. And I said, why? And he, nothing. So I just, no, I'm good. So he's still active, though. Um, I'm glad this Clash of Nations. Uh, another thing with Clash of Nations is, um, but back to diplomacy real quick. Diplomacy, it's so vital, so vital. Communicate with everybody. If somebody asks if you're active, say, yes, I'm active. Because they may attack you if you don't respond. I will. I'll attack you. If I send you a message, you need to respond. If I'm in, Because I'm probably going to attack you. That's why I'm asking you. So, you know, be, be aware of that. Be aware, you know. I normally wait. Give them a good time to respond 12 hours or so. And then if they don't, I'm going at them. So, uh, yeah. So, got to make sure that you do that. Let's see here. Okay. Um, and, of course, I forgot what it was. So, make sure that, you know, you guys are communicating with whoever it is the you know, whether it be allies or whatever, and take your time. If you find a really good guy that you think he's a good whatever teammate or whatnot, pick him, and you don't have to rush to pick somebody else. That is a good uh, a good strategy. Only being two of you in a coalition, that means one there's a slot free. You don't look like a threat. If there's if if there is no slots in the coalition, they're all folded up. You're a threat to everybody on the map. Period. Plain and simple. No anything else. You are the enemy. People will look at you differently. You know. So. Um, make sure. You do that. Also. Uh, back to picking countries. I don't think I'd pick Turkey. Because you have Instaball. Right across that little canal. So your country is separated. Uh, just like Egypt is. So for that reason. I would not pick 
that country. But all in all, it's entirely up to you. So there's that. Also, um, when picking players, of course, you know, look at their KD ratio and stuff as far as the coalition as well as attacking them. Look at their, I mean, if their KD is super high or whatnot, you probably uh, wouldn't want to attack them, you know. You see, you know, five or whatever, very high level, whatever it is, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to attack them versus if you've seen something like this, you know, something like that, you wouldn't be that worried, you know. This is a buddy on my channel here. So, uh, you know, in Clash of Nations, you're not going to find, usually, typically, you're not going to find people with uh, very high KD. It's going to be pretty simple. There's really no challenges in uh, Clash of Nations. So, uh, you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it to farm for your KD, which is so time-consuming. I would not recommend it. You could use it to farm as well for your, uh, your solo wins. Uh, which I have 13 right now. Uh, it's very pretty. It's usually pretty simple to get a uh, solo win. Uh, me personally, I just get bored of Clash of Nations, but I get to watch an, uh, historic uh, War II documentaries and such that I just have to have to go play a Clash of Nations real quick and go pick Germany just so I can just so I can look at the uh, the uh, Ju87 Swooka Dive Bomber. Oh, it didn't pop up on that one. Oh well. But, uh, um, you'd, in, in these ones, um, uh, also in these 22s, you can work your builds around, um, uh, more of a, uh, an infantry, not a, uh, mobile, like, you don't have to use SP artillery at all, because the map's so small, you can just use regular artillery, regular anti-air, I'm actually using the SP anti-air to go with my tanks and motorized infantry, you know, my mechanized army groups. So, uh, uh, just remember you don't have to cross all that, uh, all that land mass in 100 maps and such. So you can just go with the plain Jane, um, uh, and just used, uh, infantry based, uh, more of the 1939 get up of, uh, how things work. So, uh, another thing, another tip, um, um, this is a game of call of war so it's not the actual but but call of war batro uh tries to make the game seem legit so typically you know your axes is going to be better certain doing certain tactics as well as your communist russia or common turn is going to be you know better using their their you know like their their rocket artillery, SP rocket artillery and such, you know, their heavy tanks, uh, stuff like that versus, you know, Germany's going to have uh, really good medium tanks, you know, stuff like that. So uh, as really, as well as their Swooka dive armors is super, super good. And standard troops are a little bit stronger. So uh, very, very, very good. So uh, sorry, this video is super long. Wow. Wow. Um, then I need to be getting wrapped this up. Uh, pick your pick your uh, pick your teammates very wisely. Uh, use diplomacy, uh, and you can even go as far as manipulating people. Uh, and I've seen a lot of people get butthurt about that. Um, as far as getting other people to attack each other, playing two different sides, three different sides, whatever it is to get you the W. Uh, you can go that far as that route. Um, I don't. I don't do that. I, I normally try to help people out. Uh, so it's just normally what I do. But at the same time, I do have to kill people too. So, <laughs> but um, uh, you know, manage your resources, and you'll you'll just do you'll do just fine. Uh, watch my videos. I guarantee you. If you watch my videos and you take what you learn, I guarantee you, you will get a Clash of Nations victory. I guarantee it. Anything 22 maps or lower, I guarantee you, if you just check my videos out, there is enough information there for you to absolutely obliterate anybody on these maps, usually, typically. But anyway, thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Discord. It'll be in the description below. Thank you guys so much.